Good morning, everyone. Today is March 14th, 2021, and we are going to chant Shishindai this morning. Shishindai will appear on the screen, so please keep watching the screen. Please join me in Gashou. Please put your palms together. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Namanda Butsu. Namanda Butsu. Namanda Butsu. Namanda しし Now, I would like to share Shinran Shogun's Wasan poems, so please join me in Gashio. Please put your palms together. Mida Chigan no Kokai, Bombu Zen Akuno Shinsui mo, Kinyu Shinurebas Nawachimi. When the waters, the minds, good and evil of foolish beings have entered the, entered the vast ocean of Amira's vow of wisdom, they are immediately transformed into the mind of great compassion. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Namanda Butsu. Namanda Butsu. Namanda Butsu. Namanda Butsu. So I was reading a book on Yoga Chara, representation of the school of Mahayana Buddhism. And the author was saying that learning Buddhism is not to memorize only how to chant sutras or acquire knowledge of the teaching. It is to learn Buddha's teaching inside of the self. And study of Buddhism is to experience the turning of the self. The study which does not turn the self is just a play of knowledge. And this is a strict words, but I believe so too. Any religions talk about how the person changes by following the teaching. But Jodo Shinshu, we don't talk much about how we change because the experiences differs by each individuals. 
However, it is obvious that we are not the same from before we encountered the teaching and after we encountered the teaching. As Shinran Shumi said in notes on one's calling and many calling us, foolish beings as expressed in the parable of the two rivers of water and fire. We are full of ignorance and blind passion. Our desire is accomplice and anger, wrath, jealousy, and envy are overwhelming, arising without pause. To the very last moment of life, they do not cease or disappear or exhaust themselves. And we might have accepted these words with no, we are not that bad person when we have not encountered a teaching yet. But now we accept these words of Shinran Shongi as this is so true. And because of this nature of me, Amira Buddha grasp and never abandon. So this is big change, right? Our nature of being attached to the blind passions will not change until we pass away. But by encountering the wisdom of Amira Buddha, we begin to realize how we were living with the self-centered understanding and judgments. And Amira Buddha's wisdom turns our self-centered mind to entrust ourselves to the working of Amira Buddha. Shinran Shongi said in chapter on Shinjin of Kyogyo Shinshu, Shingyo toyu wa sunawachi kore nyorai no manzoku daihi engyu muge no shinjin kai nari. Concerning and trusting, it is the ocean of Shinjin, perfect and unhindered, that is the Tathagata's consummately fulfilled great compassion. So great compassion is Shinjin and trusting heart. Through the working of the primal vow of Amira Buddha, the foolish being full of blind passions receives the mind of great compassion. Our nature will not change but we become the person to entrust ourselves to the great compassionate mind of Buddha. One of my favorite Myokongi, the person who truly enjoyed the teaching of Nembutsu, named Genza, he said something like this. Uh, Genza lost his child Takezo when Genza was 80 and Takezo was 49. When Takezo passed away, Genza said, Take was fortunate to be born into the Pearl and early. Nammandav, nammandav. Take left this world finishing his job. I am, so, I am slow, so I will go there after I lock the door. And I am sure that Genza, Genza was in the deep sadness, but the teaching of the Pearl Land supported him. I believe this is the great change by encountering the teaching too. We will be assured to be born into the pure land, the realm of Nirvana and attain Buddhahood. So the death or the separation will not be the permanent separation. And this is all the working of Amida Buddha to turn our self-centered ideas. You know, the trust or confidence or reliance of the self turns to Amira Buddha's great compassionate mind after we encounter or we enter the vast ocean of the wisdom of Amira Buddha. We were asking ourselves for the guidance in the past, but now we ask Amira Buddha for guidance. And the life of the person of Nembutsu is always led by Amira Buddha's wisdom and the great compassion. So I hope uh, today's explanation helped. And in closing, please join me in the show. Please put your palms together. Namo Amida Butsu. 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 So this will conclude today's morning service.
And today is Sunday, so we are going to have Sunday service from 10 a.m. Uh, today is Shotsky monthly memorial service uh, for those who have passed away on the month of uh, March. But it does not mean um, you cannot participate the service if you have not lost anybody in um, the month of March. Uh, anybody is welcome to join us for the service. And um, if I will, I hope I will see you at the service. But if not, I will see you tomorrow morning. So thank you for attending today's service.